Here are 10 crazy ideas that just may be worth your time. Number 10. Wasabi Fire Alarm A Japanese company has developed a fire alarm that alerts people with impaired hearing by emitting the strong smell of wasabi. And if you don't have bad hearing, if you really think about it, what would get people out of a building faster? Loud noise or wasabi up their nose? The alarm was developed by a fire extinguisher company, Air Water Safety Services, in response to the rapidly aging and increasing frailty of Japan's population. Japanese horseradish contains allyl isothiocyanate, the same chemical compound that gives mustard its bite. Tests have shown that all of the hearing impaired people exposed to the odor of wasabi woke up within two and a half minutes. The company tried peppermint, lavender, and other different smells, but none of them were quite like wasabi being sprayed into a room. Further tests were done to determine the appropriate amount of odor to release without causing people's eyes to water. But that side effect is pretty minor compared to the fact that this fire alarm can actually save lives by getting people up and out of the building. Have any of you ever snorted wasabi? How much money would it take for you guys to do a line in the nose? Let us know in the comments section. And do me a favor, would you please? Hit this little thumbs up button right here. Number 9. Tooth in the Eye Back in 2009, a blind man was able to see his wife for the first time after having a tooth implanted into his eye. I'm still trying to make sense of what I just said right now. The guy was left blind for a decade after an accident at work, but a remarkable operation which implanted a part of his tooth in his eye brought back his eyesight. The process requires a living tooth as an implant because doctors suggested that there was a chance the eye would reject a plastic equivalent. So a canine, which was the best option because of its shape and size, was taken out of his mouth. This uncommon procedure used a segment of tooth as a holder for a new lens grafted from his skin. During the operation, a small section of a patient's tooth is removed, reshaped, and chiseled through to grip the man-made lens, which is then placed in its core. A patch of skin is then taken from the inside of the man's cheek and placed in the eye for two months, where it gradually acquires its own blood supply. The tooth segment is finally transplanted into the eye socket. The flap of grafted skin is then partially lifted from the eye and placed over its new sturdy base. Finally, surgeons cut a hole in the grafted cornea to let light through. What a time to be alive, because this procedure just sounds so insane. The eight-hour operation pioneered by surgeon Christopher Liu was specially designed to help patients who have corneal blindness but aren't suitable for traditional corneal transplants. Number eight, roller coaster relief. I'm sure that most of us have ridden roller coasters and you may actually be a roller coaster lover. But did you know that riding roller coasters actually has a great health benefit? While riding a roller coaster is supposed to take your breath away, Dutch psychologists have found that it can do just the opposite for asthma sufferers. They took 25 women who suffered severe asthma on a series of roller coaster rides and discovered that the euphoric thrill experienced subsequently reduced the shortness of breath commonly associated with asthma. The short-term burst of extreme physical stress appears to relax asthmatic's airways, improving symptoms. The sheer thrill of the ride may help too. Adrenaline is often used as a therapeutic drug for severe asthmatics. It sets off a reaction that relaxes the muscles in the lung's bronchial tubes, helping sufferers to breathe more easily. Number seven, cure for the hiccups. When's the last time you've had hiccups? When you get it, sometimes it feels as if it never go away, right? However, just a few minutes of putting up with the involuntary hiccup is usually enough for the problem to go away on its own. However, other times they can become a far more unmanageable problem and well, desperate times call for desperate measures. There's a surprising but highly effective cure. Published in 1988, a study called, quote, Termination of Intractable Hiccups with Digital Rectal Massage details the case of a 60-year-old patient whose seemingly non-stop hiccups were stopped by uh, massaging the inside of his butt. However, he got the hiccups back in a few hours. But, surprisingly, the hiccup was gone again by applying the same method. The research from the B'nai Zion Medical Center in Israel notes that no other occurrences were observed. Dr. Francis Fesmier wrote the medical case report back in 1988, and in 2006, his research actually won an IG 
Nobel Prize in 2006 for unusual achievements in scientific research. Number six, Gila monster saliva. You guys ready for the next crazy find? A drug made from the saliva of the Gila monster is somehow effective in reducing food cravings. Researchers at the University of Gothenburg found an entirely new and unexpected effect from this lizard spit and made it into a pill. They've tested the compound on rats, and after getting the Gila monster saliva treatment, the rats stopped craving for both food and chocolate. The whole trick here lies in the fact that our decision to eat is linked to, to the same mechanisms in the brain which control addictive behaviors. The Extendin 4 found in lizards of saliva affects the reward and motivation regions of the brain. Most dieting fails because we get obsessed with the desire to eat, especially tempting foods such as sweets. As Extendin 4 suppresses the cravings for food, it can help obese people take control of their eating urges. Research on Extendin 4 also gives hope for new ways to treat diseases related to eating disorders, such as, for example, compulsive overeating. Number 5. Charcoal-Lined Underwear According to research, activated carbon underwear is the most effective method of removing smell down in our sensitive regions. Of course, some entrepreneur came up with Shreddies, the charcoal-filtered underwear to help out noses all over the world. Shreddies aren't exactly magic, they work because of science. The noxious smells this underwear gets rid of feature an activated carbon back panel that absorbs all the smells. Because of its highly porous nature, the smells get trapped and neutralized by the cloth, which is reactivated every time you wash the underwear. Apparently, how you stand, sit, and how you pass gas is extremely important to get the most out of Shreddy's underwear. The trick lies in ensuring there aren't any gaps in the waistband or leg openings and that the fit is firmly against the skin. Oh, uh, by the way, in case you decide to get them, don't forget that Shreddy's are designed to absorb odors and they don't work on muffling the sound. Be sure to remember that whenever you guys are out on that first date wearing Shreddy's. Number four, drip-free bottles. Daniel Perlman of Brandeis University put his brain where it really matters, designing a bottle that doesn't drip. A biophysicist and inventor, Perlman said the trick to this design is an additional two millimeter groove added to the tip of a bottle that helps to catch any liquid as the bottle gets tilted back up. The conclusion came to Perlman after he studied slow motion videos for three years of wine being poured into a glass. Three years! That's how long it took him to realize that drips most often occur when the bottle is full or nearly full. With the extra lip, he claims, that the tiny design update fixes an obviously very real problem that many people experience in frustrating ways. The fix is simple enough that he hopes bottle designers just take this into consideration when manufacturing glass containers. Number three, walking on ice. Walking on icy streets could be made much easier if you just do one simple trick. Put socks over your shoes. Really? Any of you guys out there ever tried this? Let us know in the comments. A study done in New Zealand found that wearing socks over shoes appears to be an effective and cheap method to reduce the likelihood of slipping on icy footpaths. Leanne Parkin, Sheila Williams, and Patricia Priest did an experiment to test the wisdom of a local winter tradition. These ladies published their findings in the New Zealand Medical Journal. They based their research on reports that pedestrians who wear socks over the top of their shoes are less likely to slip and fall in icy conditions. Parkin, Williams, and Priest found it simple to recruit volunteers and in order to qualify, passing pedestrians simply needed to wear socks while walking downhill. In the end, it turned out that wearing socks over your shoes could significantly reduce the self-reported slipperiness of icy footpaths. On top of that, apparently almost all of the sock-wearing participants displayed confidence in descending these study slopes. Amazingly, the only falls occurred during the study were to people who weren't wearing socks on their shoes. Number two, caffeine eye drops. Ah, good old caffeine, the magic ingredient that makes life just a little bit nicer each morning. But usually it's ingested through your mouth. Or some adventurous people also do coffee through other adventurous means. However, did you know that a recent study proved that caffeine in your eyes could help you fight UVB cataracts? Now, here's the thing with cataracts, it isn't fun. The World Health Organization estimated that cataract operations would increase from 20 million cataract operations annually in 2004 
to 32 million cataract surgeries annually by 2020. However, this is where caffeine could come in to help cut down on those surgeries. Even the delay of cataract onset for only 10 years could reduce the need for cataract surgery by as much as half. A study involving rats found that topically applied caffeine protects against UVB-induced cataracts in the rat. According to the FDA, we tolerate caffeine pretty well and caffeine is classified as sufficiently safe. Unfortunately, you can't drink your way out of a cataract. 10 to 15 grams of a single dose that needs to be taken is equivalent to 80 to 100 cups of coffee a day. There has been a concern that caffeine may increase eye pressure, but further studies in which caffeine was administered to humans with glaucoma showed zero change in eye pressure. Could caffeine eye drops be a new trend? Would you put caffeine in your eyes to give it a shot? How much caffeine do you take in a day? Let us know in the comment section. Number one, name the cows. What exactly is in a name? Well, it's a lot, of course. So much so it even applies to cows. Scientists have found that cows with names produce more milk than those animals who aren't named. In a study involving 516 dairy farmers in the UK, it was found that treating the animals as individuals increased production. The average amount of milk produced by a cow over its annual 10-month lactation period is 13,198 pints. Those cows with names had an average higher milk yield of 454 pints. The study found milk yield to be lower on farms where cattle were herded as a group. Really, it's not actually naming the cows, but it's the attention cows get from being given a name. Just as people respond better to the personal touch, cows also feel happier and more relaxed if they're given a bit more one-on-one -on -one attention. Apparently, treating every cow as an individual with different personality is vitally important to milk production. Cows need some loving too. Here's what's next. You've probably heard about the mathematician with the constipation problem. He worked it out with a pencil. But you don't need a pencil to work out how to use this fine desk ornament. Wait, actually you do. The only thing that would make this lovely gift idea better would be to make a pencil sharpener out of it. That way you could push the pencil in, turn it, and hear the satisfying...